Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, we were, I think, okay in the first quarter. Um, I thought our second quarter was a disaster uh, on both ends of the floor. Uh, our bench unit was, they played this game like it was a game in the middle of November, uh, not game 80 with a chance to clinch. Uh, San Antonio opened on a 16-4 to run to break the game open. Um, and that was probably the most disappointing thing for me was just the um, lack of urgency or lack of kind of desperation throughout. Um, and um, so many breakdowns, you know, I mean, it was game 80 and, you know, Devin Vassell and Josh Richardson were runoffs, you know, guys that we wanted to take off the three point line. They were combined eight of 11, which to me, I just don't understand. Um, you mentioned the turnovers, 11 for 17 points. 11 is not a bad number, but the 17 obviously is not. Uh, our inability to finish tonight was, I think we missed 18 layups and dunks uh, at the rim. Uh, so yeah, uh, really give San Antonio credit. You know, they, they played harder than us, uh, you know, for 48 minutes. And we had a great third quarter, uh, challenged the guys at halftime. They responded, but when you dig yourself that hole, as you mentioned, and you, you expend so much energy getting back in the game, you have nothing left to finish. And, uh, you know, you, you hope you can learn from this, uh, this loss. No, it's just, you know, um, you know, we, we, we got lucky, you know, well, Washington went in and beat Minnesota. We, we, we wasted a golden opportunity. And, uh, and, and I just didn't think that we had the requisite focus, determination, urgency, desperation, whatever adjective you want to use. So I just didn't think we had it tonight. Uh, and just the lack of discipline. I mean, um, things that we've been working on since, since September and have given us trouble all year long and they continue to give us trouble. That, that's probably one of the more frustrating things for me is that um, you know, just too many breakdowns in a big game and they made us pay for it. So give them credit. With just two games left at this point, where is your faith level that you guys can get back to the urgency that you're looking for? I, I mean, I'm pretty faithful. I mean, uh, we have 47 wins. Um, you know, this is a tough loss. You don't overreact in, at game 80. There's disappointment. Every loss sucks. I hate losing. Um, you know, but I think it's important also to, okay, let's attack Memphis as, you know, our, our chance to clinch a playoff spot. We, luckily for us, TJ, we still control our own destiny. You know, we're not, we don't need to scoreboard watch and take out the rosary beats. You know, it's, uh, we control our own destiny. So. Let's turn the page. Let's learn from tonight. And, and, and I, knowing our team, I think we'll be ready to go against a, <laughs> a great Memphis Grizzly team. That uh, he is fatigued. He's been carrying a team for 80 games, and I can't take him out of the game. So you got to go right back to him when he's gassed. I went back to him around the 930 mark tonight. And uh, he looked at me like, already? And not complaining, because he never complains, but like, all right, let's go. Uh, but I, I think that's just fatigue. Uh, you know, he has not been shooting the three ball well as of late. Uh, I think, you know, to be a good shooter starts in your legs. I think he's tired because of everything he's, you know, the guy leads the league in triple doubles, double doubles, PER. You can, I can go on and on. He's top 10 in every category. He's going to be the first player in NBA history to average 25, 13, and 6. So he's exhausted, you know, and that's where you need other guys to step up. Uh, we beat the Lakers. Will Barton stepped up. Aaron Gordon was great. And uh, that's what we're going to need on Thursday night, I think it is. Uh, but, yeah, I, I would attribute a lot, some of those misses, Katie, to just him being uh, really, really tired. And he'll never say that, but he, he is, and he should be because of everything he's done for us. Yeah, I mean, these are all great learning experiences for Bones. You know what I mean? Um, and he, he's a guard. You know what I mean? Like, he's, he's a modern NBA guard. There are very few pure point guards left. Um, and, and him learning the nuances of the position, uh, when to score, when to play make, when to settle your team down, to your point, Ryan. Um, so th these are invaluable experiences for him. But, you know, um, as a team, you know, we lost tonight as a team. I did a poor job getting our guys ready. We did not play the way we needed to play, and we lost. 
Um, so we all own it and we move on to Memphis and we have two games to win one and secure a playoff berth. And that's our goal and that's our focus. Appreciate it, everybody. Thank you.